Why is everybody going upstairs? That hand is showing down. Are they idiots? Those... It's on another hand. And another hand. Why did those guys go upstairs? This is unbelievable. And... I am in this... Of course, every modern setting game needs to have a sewer section. Okay, I have to go in here. And fidden it. What the hell? Fidden it. I have no idea what... Fanat? I have no idea. What else is that supposed to mean? In any case... Nice little touch here. It would be certainly better if there were some hobo standing around the fire, like, Ugh, I'm so cold. Hmm. While I'm standing around. Dude. Actually, another thing where I have they fixed the jumping animation. Nope, they haven't. Okay, lots of blue stuff. Probably should have gone with a, um blue suit instead of red, considering that you know, blue is the color of the Illuminati and red is the color of Templars. The Illuminati and Templars are big ass mortal em em <laughs> Nice work, brain. Mortal enemies. This is a labyrinth. Okay, this is a honeycomb. Ah, that's why they went upstairs. The these honeycombs are um, collectible lore pieces that you can find throughout the world. Actually, let's take a look at this cute ritual chant. Fuck or be fucked. Commercial warfare. Some sweet, cute apart. Paradigm War, the Nomadic Strife to Sun, as a path of sight, guys. Interesting. But it's the 11th floor entry, so it's like. I, I probably missed a ton on the way here, and. Honestly. I don't want to go get them. Well. Nice. It's a box! Of course it is. Why wouldn't be any why would it be anything other than a box? Okay. Now that is the official Illuminati symbol. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here again. I'm probably gonna have to edit edit it, but whatever. Okay. I'm just going to stop the video here. Thank you so very much for watching the this first part of my uh, Secret World beta testing playthrough thingamabob. Like, share, subscribe, whatever. It's up to you. If you did like it, do so. If you didn't, do so anyways. I need the views. Come on. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do something here for you, all of you. Okay. And I'll see you next time. It's a box. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Marcus O'Reilly from the Brotherstorm channel. Welcome... Welcome... Very good job you did there, Mr. Brain. Welcome you... Well... Okay. Welcoming you back to yet another episode of me playing The Secret World, third beta weekend. And now I'm going to enter the Illuminati Complex. Let me know how that reality sandwich tastes. Um, I've, well, it's a bit zingy, but it was quite nice. Okay, I, I assume cutscene! I assumed correctly. You know the drill. Run them through due diligence. 
I'm on it. Please, no head trauma. Someone ping Cassini to shut that fucking alarm off. Say, Did have you ever seen a person void themselves from exposure to pink noise? Get these two freaks out of here. Two? Why are you talking about me? Now what's pink noise? I should look that up. Hi. Have you ever seen a psychiatrist or taken psychedelic drugs? <laughs> whoa, 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 don't freak out! You got a lot of narcosynthetics in your system to fast track the rapport process. <laughs> so make yourself comfortable before you lose motor function in your arms and legs. <laughs> Is it safe? <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. I'm a researcher, an experimental researcher. Zern, my schedule is triple booked, so get started ten minutes ago. Uh, yes, ma'am. Miss Geary. Management. <laughs> Still here. Ship. Knew that. <laughs> wow. Illuminati. Always there. Okay. Today, we're going to be provoking your extra human potential. Routine tests. Psychic driving, invasive procedures, auto security. This is all going to happen while you're under a post hypnosis role playing scenario. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm going to play you a loop recording of the catastrophe in Tokyo. And then, with a little chemical assistance, your uninhibited neurons are going to work their crazy magic. I won't lie to you. Okay. This is gonna be an intense out of body experience. Wow! I'm pretty excited myself. Okay, I honestly think somehow in the weeks since the first. And subject has left the building. Since the first beta weekend, they've really upped the ante on their. Um, on the voice acting, on the script writing, because so I don't know why I like this. I like these guys, uh, the guys that I've met. Well, except for the super paranoid guy, but the introduced drug the who Of course, my voice is failing me now during videos. The guy who introduces you to Illuminati, this Zern. Personality. Okay. It's all shut down. Kaiden Cho. Everything. From the park to, to Arachi Tower. SDF quarantine. Good news for Tokyo, bad news for us. I thought the dragons thrived on chaos. Someone once told me the Illuminati had all the answers. They're saying a bomb. It's never just a bomb. Something worse. Okay, Something that so. Brought the filth with it. So we fight. This. That's what us Templars do. I enjoy a good fight. It's just these trousers are bloody velvet. <laughs> Sarah! Thank Gaia! Okay, so this is the, um... The are you okay? combat tutorial type mission thingy. It's, um... The exact same one as, um... The one used uh, by the Templars is just that the introdu introduction is completely different. I, I'm actually wondering now what what's it like with the dragons? I'm not very really, I'm not that interested in them, but it would be nice to find out. Of course, as you can see, it's all filled with tentacle knee goodness. Okay, so for those who haven't seen this, I am going to, um... Blah, 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 blah. I... I'm going to play through this for those of you... If Zuberi was here, he tell us this is the worst ...who haven't... Argue. ...yet... Well, he's not. He's down it. there somewhere. Sarah? Get your gun. Way ahead of you. Okay. That person clipped out of the ground. Oh, 
weird zombie type things. Oh my god. Of course. They're coming in for the air vents. Watch out! Thanks. How More monstrosities. It's gone viral so fast. If this gets out into Tokyo, it doesn't. We stop it here, whatever it takes. Should we consult the Council of Venice first? Now, something very important to remember about the gameplay here. Very yep, very cheerful guy. Let's do this. Take it like all the other occult disasters, right? All the others? Okay. Okay, oh shit, and I can't see anything. Which, of course, is perfect when you're playing a game like this. Don't even breathe in. It's reacting to us. Like it knows we're coming. This stuff can't think. It's a cancer. The cancer doesn't know you're coming, it just is. Yeah. Okay, so, um. Combat is pretty straightforward in this game. New plan. Fight chaos with chaos. Keep the bastards at a distance, ba -ba. then take them out. That's your plan? Well, it's a plan. If you kind of point, Sarah. Improve the jumping animation. Incoming. Yeah. You have to direct your shots. Holy shit, I am dying. Why am I dying? Die you. Ouch. How the hell are they doing so much damage? Actually... Actually, I think it... I... Okay, they can't do more damage than that. Okay, that was interesting. We're gonna need to use some heavy powers. Don't hold back, right? Have you been? <laughs> I was pacing myself. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Listen, Sarah. You have to find Zuberi. We'll hold them here. Make a stand. Okay, stuff like that. You go over there. I'll go um this way. Okay, so come on, it's pretty straight. Oh shit, that's a big guy. And okay, as you can see, he does has a um, charge type shot. Now, so most of your abilities do some kind of um, special damage. And again, need to avoid that. Yep. And then resources can then be used for some attacks which deal massive damage, such as this one here. And he's dead. And this is how we do it. 